San Diego, California is home to the nation's largest urban cultural green space, Balboa Park. Covering 1,200 acres, it features renowned performance venues, lush gardens, and a staggering 15 museums. But located in this serene setting is an institution dedicated to a decidedly noisy pursuit. The San Diego Automotive Museum. Inside, visitors can find a 1914 Ford Model T, a 1982 DeLorean, and a vast collection of Indian motorcycles. Most of these classic cars look like they've just rolled off the assembly line. But there's one vehicle here that's heavily customized. The artifact is off-white, about 15 to 20 feet long, about 8,000 pounds. It has features that you're not going to find on a regular car. According to museum executive director Paula Brandis, these modifications greased the wheels for an incredible journey. This amazing one-of-a-kind car went on a one-of-a-kind adventure. 1947, San Diego, California. 36-year-old Louis Matar is a skilled auto mechanic with a vivid imagination. Louis Matar was a very effervescent character. He loved tinkering with his cars. Matar is obsessed with squeezing maximum performance out of his vehicles. So when he purchases a brand new Cadillac sedan, he gets a big idea. Matar thought, how far can I go? How about New York and back? Without stopping. Matar resolves to set the record for the longest non-stop drive. He plans to drive 6,300 miles without ever stopping. But the project poses a host of problems. He had to consider fuel, water, oil, and you have to eat, you have to sleep, all of these things while you're driving down the highway. And so to complete the epic journey, Matar resolves to modify nearly every inch of his Cadillac. He installs a larger fuel tank and plots a route that will allow him to gas up on the go. He made arrangements to go to an airfield where a tanker could come alongside the car and refuel. And just in case the caddy gets a flat, Matar rigs the vehicle with a special contraption that will keep it rolling. You can change the tires on this car while it's in motion. Matar recruits two friends to be his co-pilots, allowing the three of them to switch off between driving and sleeping. And to make their journey as pleasant as possible, Matar puts in a few creature comforts. Matar added a stove, a water fountain, a bar, a shower, a washing machine, a toilet, and of course, the kitchen sink. He even installs the very latest in technology, making use of the nation's brand new wireless network. Probably the most progressive thing he put in this car was a mobile telephone. Finally, on September 20th, 1952, after five years of careful planning and $75,000 in upgrades, Matar and his pals hit the road. The excitement level was pretty high. The first few days went very well. The car was working very well. But then, despite their preparations, the team faces a problem they never anticipated. Matar and his buddies get sick. The symptoms came on slowly. First it was headaches, then it was stomach cramps, and then constipation. They hadn't planned on that, so they didn't have any medicine to take care of it. The men are in a bind. If they stop at a drugstore, their record-setting quest will skid to a halt. But if they don't, the problem could become too uncomfortable to ignore. This was a big deal. They had their eye on the prize. They couldn't stop. They had to do something. Is Matar's epic drive headed for a breakdown? 